This video is sponsored by Altium. So then we can create images adding details and surroundings to our uh, prompt. That is to say what whatever we want to create, we need to add the details and the surroundings. So your subject can be somewhere, do something or have a special quality. So in this case, the turtle may be swimming underwater around some colorful corals. So thus, a turtle swimming underwater near color, colorful corals, expressionist painting. So this gives us this figure as shown in this uh, slide. So by adding details and surroundings, the AI will produce good images. This video is sponsored by Altium the industry standard and most professional PCB design software on the market. I've used Altium for designing printed circuit boards to build my own custom Arduinos and high-speed on-edge computer vision projects. When I tested other PCB CAD softwares out there, I found that nothing came close to the flexibility, ease of use and power of Altium Designer. I mean, if you ever worked on PCB design for computer vision applications, you know that transmitting video signals is a very delicate task with many high-speed signals that you have to consider in terms of electromagnetic noise and crosstalk. Altium helps you to easily manage and route high-speed signals with length tuning to ensure that you receive clear image quality on the other end. What's really great is that we have partnered up with Altium to bring you an exclusive discount for our Augmented Startups community. Sign up with the link down below to get 30% off monthly of the perpetual license of Altium Designer. You can also try out Altium Designer for free for the first 15 days. Just click the link down below to get started. So then, we need to avoid adding propositions and relationships while providing our text prompts to our AI based image generators. But look out for a problem when you start adding propositions and relationships. Let's say the prompt a turtle following a metal anchor to the bottom of the sea, expression, expressionist painting. So that will produce this figure as shown in this figure uh, in this slide. So this is clearly not what we are looking for. Getting relationships right is a major challenge for the AI because the AI does not always get how things are connected. So you can now either iterate the description, change the order of the words, repeat elements, or add more objects that one would see at the bottom, at the sea, and on the anchor. So or you can use this style of painting to help with the direction. So we need to avoid adding propositions and relationships while we are using AI-based image generators. So then there are different examples of AI-based image generation. Uh, let's say we can add styles, we can add artists, we can add media types. So we can fix our turtle's journey by adding artist names and style descriptions, which may aid the theme of image. For example, if we are going to input a prompt, such as a turtle following a metal anchor to the bottom of the sea, fantasy painting by Craig Roskowski and Alfonso Mucca. So that's uh, actually uh, by adding some artists and media types and adding the style. So then that prompt now includes a genre fantasy. So the medium painting and the two artists names, Greg Rodkowski and Alfonso Muka or Muja. So the resulting image is much closer to our intended image description, as you can see in this slide, and looks more refined overall. So why did this work? Maybe the earlier use was impressionist painting referred to artwork and the artist which drew turtles. So doing other things than going after anchors. So interestingly, generative images can become really beautiful when you add more information about resolution and evaluation outcome. So that's it about AI-based image generator. In the next video, we will discuss about AI-based image generators, that is the Mid-Journey, Dali2, Imagen, and Stable Deviant. 
and we will start with the mid journey